What's up guys, since the reaction video I did last time was so popular, today we're gonna be watching, I don't even know what it's called. It's something, it's a show about tigers, um, but we're gonna find out, I guess. We're gonna watch the first episode. I've seen some people say it's the greatest show of all time. I've seen some people complain and say it's low brow. All I know is that there's tigers. So yeah, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just watch it. It was a crazy beginning. Tiger King stands accused of trying to have a woman killed. Damn. Not every day that Damn, Tiger King. What am I getting myself into? <laughs> So I guess it's real. Captive tigers in the U.S. today than there are in the wild throughout the world. Whoa. Aw, I want to go grab my cat. I've been doing this 20 years, never even been bit. Ah. Oops. Joe Exotic was someone that... Joe Exotic? I feel like my name's inadequate. There is so many That's awesome. What the... There's so much going on right now. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know how to feel. So many mixed emotions. Awesome. That's a great intro. This guy's fan was a snow leopard. Oh, shit. Wow. Do they need to be refrigerated? Or Are you going to refrigerate a cat? Do you need to be refrigerated? Ow, 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 okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Cats are dangerous. All right. Oh, little girl. Oh. I went a little bit too hard just then. And everybody envy you? Is that something people really envy? I'm not sure if I envy you. All right, I envy you. All right, I envy him a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Very emotional connection between me and these cats. Like, that doesn't surprise me. I imagine if they're anything like small cats, you can get an emotional connection with small cats. I have one with mine. Wow, beautiful. This whole video is gonna be me saying wow a lot. Wow. Tigers lines here than you would in the world. Whoa, what did he just say? <laughs> Sounds like me. I'm kind of embarrassed to say it, but when I got here, I was uh, I was on kind of the end of my ropes. I found this place on Craigslist and like, man, I ain't never done this before. What the fuck? <laughs> I know that feeling. I'm kind of at the end of my rope right now. <laughs> so make sure y'all get me some promo pictures. This guy really is walking around with a revolver on his hip. That's awesome. <laughs> he does music too? Of course he does. From the start of the day to the end of the day, he filmed everything. I know that feeling too. Where does your TV show air? On the internet worldwide. He never had more than 80 people watching the thing live. I know that feeling too. Oh, she's dressed perfectly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. She's dressed perfectly. Perfectly dressed. Beautiful. With saving the cats, it's one thing that I can fix if I can just stay focused on that. I love cats. There's like a special way that cat lovers say cats that just shows exactly where they are and the level of cat insanity. They say it, cats. I love cats. That's how you know they really love them. Ending the captivity of wild cats. And wild cats. I'm going to see this through to the end. Cool. I respect that, though. All jokes aside, I respect that. Black Mamba was a jaguar. This is kind of a weird thing that I, I can't quite wrap my mind around. So people object to wild animals living in cages, but the thing is the animals were brought to life specifically to live in these cages. And so in a weird way, it's almost like people like Carol, they're hoping that these cats are never born. You know, it might actually be the case that some tigers are just fine living in captivity. I think it would be fair to say that Carol is the mother Teresa of cats. Wow. This guy loves Carol, jeez. Complimenting her outfit, Mother Teresa of Cats, what a title. It was me and the cat. <laughs> she loves cats. She just loves cats. I mean, I love cats too, I'm not judging. My friends were two imaginary white cats. Oh, Carol. <laughs> two imaginary white cats. Oh, it breaks my heart. I love Carol. I, uh, that was like the sweetest, but also somewhat sad, saddest thing. Oh, cat clothes. Respect her commitment, you know? easy to find my luggage when I get off the plane. I like that she's super self-deprecating. That makes her a lot more endearing, you know? She could be annoying, except that she actually just seems really genuine, and, like, she has a sense of humor about it, which is great. I, I like Carol. I don't necessarily agree with her, but so far I like her. If any of you guys out there are thinking about an early Christmas gift for me... Damn. If anyone's trying to figure out an early birthday present for me... When I first met Joe, I was, awesome. like, a month out of high school. All these guys are missing teeth. I learned how big my heart was. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that this would be so like touching. I thought this was gonna be like a crazy zany comedy of ridiculous people, but everyone's so nice. One night I drove my car off a bridge. I broke my back, and that's where my attraction to exotic animals really started in. <laughs> This is super touching. I did not expect to <laughs> have like an emotional reaction to the show. Joe Exotic, everyone. But I'm 
rights people, they keep saying, I can't have these tigers. Am I getting worked emotionally? Is this all a trick? Is he like a psycho actually? I've been tricked before. Lions share and they don't want Lions share. Oh! My life will not be complete until I make an entrance on an elephant. What's up with that tiger's face? Damn. Wow, look at that guy. Damn, that's a big cat. We believe these incredible up close experiences makes a connection between them and the wild world, opening their hearts for us to do our worldwide conservation work. I mean, that makes sense. There's people that paid 625, 655 for their tours. 625? Whoa! It's a minimum of $10,000 a year to feed each tiger. I think you're feeding them a little bit too much. Maybe feed them $5,000 worth. I can feed a tiger. Aww. $5,000. That, that, that's what I said. Damn, they're going nuts. Look at that meat. <laughs> wow. He had a 12 year old kid kind of showing them how to do stuff. <laughs> Is that an actual cat? Sometimes we were doing 20, 30, 40 grand. <sighs> and convince the malls to not allow him to exploit cubs. What do you mean exploit cubs? It's not exploiting them. This guy is on Carol's nuts. The tiger selfie is a growing trend on sites like Tinder and OkCupid. Was it? Where was I? Shout out to Exotic Joe. I got two Damn. He met Shaq. Now I'm jealous. $30,000 at the mall meeting Shaq. The toenails you gotta watch because they rip your face. People who pimp out tiger cubs can only use them from the time that they're pimp out. Sold come until they're come on, Carol. And a year later, and they're calling us and saying, "Please get this out of my house." Yeah, I mean that's that makes sense. People do that with dogs, even. We have a tiger crisis in this country. Oh, oh, what? Excuse me? A tiger crisis? That's some strong words, Carol. I believe that there are a number of ticking time bombs out there. Somebody does something crazy. That will probably push our legislation forward. Cats don't kill people. People kill people. Properly managed wildlife can become a great tool. It really is going to. Cats don't kill people. People kill people. We went there real quick. This is my own little town. I'm the, the mayor, the prosecutor, the cop, and the executioner. Uh oh. Here we go. If anything went bad, we were going to shoot each other. That sounds reasonable. I put our names on our bullets. Wow. All right. I get it now. <laughs> picture of joe with the word evil on it subtle what i'm getting struck with right now is the fact that it seems like none of the parties really have that much to say it just seems like they have their own interests and they're gonna find any argument they can in favor of their own interests and it's not really about the animals at this point it's more about territory we've been targeting joe exotic for many many years targeting those people are insane man actually they just scare me <laughs> peter's scary she's got tens of thousands of people out there brainwashed that we're abusing animals is carol really capable of major brainwashing Nuts. i mean she's openly admitting that her two best friends were imaginary cats Bear, go ahead and open the gate to go see some cats carol is wait i'm a little bit confused She's not breeding the animals, but she still has a zoo for them, just like Joe Exotic. Is she saying she's better than Joe Exotic because she doesn't breed them? If you're not f***ing exploiting animals at that point... I can't understand a word this guy's saying. If you can't what? If you're not f***ing exploiting animals... Exploiting animals. What the hell is Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the point I just made. So she's doing the same thing she's complaining about him doing, which is putting the animals on display and profiting from it. So what makes her better than Joe Exotic? The fact that she says she cares more about them? I don't see how she really differs that much. I was expecting her wildlife area to be a lot more open, like an actual wildlife reserve, but it looks like they're just the same cages as Joe Exotic's place. If anything, Joe Exotic's place has things they can climb on and like toys and stuff like that. They almost have a life to live now, a happy life to live. What's the difference? I feel like maybe the show's not showing everything about the conditions at Joe Exotic's zoo. You just do an amazing job. Really? It just looks like some wire netting. I mean, I guess they're not showing it. I don't know. I don't know what to believe right now. In my opinion, Carol Baskin was as bad as Joe. They were both, you know, taking advantage of exotic animals to make money. Right. So to me, it was just a feud. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. That guy's more articulate than I am, though. He said it way more simply. English. <laughs> oh, crap. Is Carol going to die? Oh, no. There are crazy people out there who want to see me dead. Over cats, of all things. Keeps me up at night is worrying about them hurting a family member <sighs> to get to me. None of this seems worth it. It's just zoos. I mean, like, come on. 
Oh, we live in a world. This is making me depressed now, actually. I wanted to watch this to have a wonderful time. Instead, I feel emotional, conflicted. I'm gonna shut down on everybody. Wow, okay. I got a bunch of mixed feelings about this. I can see why this is a hit. I think like most good media productions, this is very character driven and the characters are very interesting to say the least. It's an interesting cast of real people, amazingly. And then you have the added benefit of the big cats, which are awesome. Cats are awesome. People are crazy. I can see how this is a winning combination. I think I would probably follow the classic three episode rule. And if I'm not hooked by three episodes, I think I'm probably going to drop it, but it has a lot of potential. So I'll give it a couple more episodes and see where it goes. I'm going to give this a rating of five points better than the platform. It's way better than the platform. The platform sucks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like. See you on the next episode of Cat Adventures. Do you need to be refrigerated? No? All right.